This is our longtime winner here for the high-end category, the Vitamix 5200. It has a powerful motor, but power wasn't everything. The Blendtec, for example, the highest wattage model we tested, we actually found the blender went too fast to properly emulsify mayonnaise. Soups made in there were often extremely frothy. The Vitamix, on the other hand, had a wattage of about 1500, and it churned out better results than those in the 2500 wattage range proving that power is not everything with blenders. One thing that the Vitamix 5200 does really well is create dense, velvety blends, and that comes down to the shape of its jar. You'll notice it's taller and skinnier. This design allows the contents to stay concentrated more towards the bottom of the jar. Once the jar gets wider, the ingredients have farther to travel, they're crashing around inside, that generates foamier results, 